Archaeological no, Research Institute with money, the Arizona State University. And so we have kids working on pump drills. So pump drilling is an ancient technology for drilling a hole. Um, as long as the point of your drill is harder than the material you're trying to drill through, you can put a hole in it. So if you look at our, our pieces of wood, you can see we've had some expert hole drillers here today. See some people demonstrating it. So it works a little bit like a yo yo. You're letting the twisting and untwisting of the string do all of the work and turn the drill bit for you putting a hole in whatever material you're using. This is the School of Anthropology's booth on archaeology. We have stratigraphic layers here that are made out of sugar, and they have artifacts in them at different layers, meant for our kids to be able to do some archaeological excavation. And here we've got some dendro archaeology going on. Our kids are looking at uh, annual rings um, and different cultural wood. Arizona Archaeological Society. Phoenix. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that you're building. Um, well, these are ceramics. These are actually modeled on prehistoric Holcomb ceramics. I took a little class on it and then we fired them. And it looked a lot better before it was fired and broken. This is smudging that occurred during firing. And this is sort of like a Holcomb scoop. They used to make things like that. Probably easier to leave that there and just bring the mud to it. No, it's kind of an interesting mix. There you go. So like, um, we got a minute, sure. half, half moon ranch. Uh, this will be okay, but you got to press it down real good. Get it into the corners. Because if you were making these uh, a, like full size to build a house, you really want the sides straight and the corners uh, full so you can make really good walls because this is just dirt and it's going to hold up your roof and protect you from things outside and keep you warm. Site stewards are trained volunteers who uh, monitor sites for uh, signs of vandalism or uh, looting on public lands. The program has uh, numerous federal and state partners, including uh, National Park Service, Bureau of Reclamation, state uh, trust lands, um, as well as a bunch of municipalities as well. Yeah, I've never, I haven't gotten out because Levine is pretty far from, me, from East Mesa. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. It takes like an hour to, well, maybe yeah, not quite. We're from Pima Community College Archaeology Center. We've got a poster on the field training classes. And then we've got our shirts right here. And then we also got a poster on stone tool technology. And we've got some uh, flint napping demonstrations going on all day. And then we also have a poster on Ho-Com uh, shell jewelry and ornament. This is, these are ones that we just picked. Oh, wow. And then when you pick them, they're all spiny. They have a bunch of spines and stuff on the inside. Yes. But we get willow baskets or, and we throw them in there, get a wooden spoon and just like whip it around to get those spines and out. The spine and it takes them off. And this okay. is what it looks like afterwards. These are almost freshly picked. We just picked those on Monday. Just build it from there. If you look inside, you can see the coils inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Stephen Molinares, and I'm uh, flint attempting to flint nap this. And uh, I'm trying to thin it so I can make a nice point out of it. And uh, it's hitting it with a rock, basically. Um, it's creating flakes, and the flakes. Uh, what you use, it thins, both thins and shapes. The arrowhead. We're from the Port Apache Reservation and various items from our Apache Nation, you know, the burden baskets and examples of basketry, um, the one with the pinion pitches, you know, for making it watertight for back in the day we used to carry the baskets around. And so some information about Fort Apache, the historic park itself and the various tours that we offer over there. <laughs> We're from the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community. We call it Wantakimilum, 
or Vashal I. We're from the Huagam Key Museum. Uh, we're a small, tribally funded museum, and we're here at the archaeology fair just to promote our museum, but also to let people know about our our perpetuation of our culture and our traditional way of life for our community members. This is a work basket that was actually given to me by a friend of mine. This comes from uh, the Don Awesome Village, um, and uh, I think it comes from Anangam. And uh, it's a work basket. We still use it. We use it when we uh, winnow our corn, uh, when we make our guy and stuff. We have examples um, of uh, choya buds, tepri uh, okay, beans, and the mesquite Jacob meal. Uh, the first one was put in in 1903, and it was a redwood and galvanized steel roof, and it was starting to fall apart. This one was designed and built in 1932 um, during the time of the CCC projects in the national parks.